Hey guys, I'm sure you've seen loads of things on the internet about like the education system changing, about the reforms that have come in, loads and loads of um, like YouTube videos, like so and so versus the school system. And you know, I agree with what they say. The education system in this country isn't perfect. However, we do have to work within the education system within this country. We don't have a choice. We can't opt out and not do stuff. Um, and it's really hard for me because as a teacher, I am teaching stuff. I'm teaching you loads and loads of stuff that I know you're not necessarily ever going to use. And it's hard because when students ask me, Miss, when am I ever going to use this? And I'm like, yeah, probably never. Um, and in reality, you just look stuff up. Oh. You just Google stuff if you don't know what the answer is. Like, your accurate values for trigonometry. You don't need to know that in real life. And people that do need to know that in real life, look it up on the internet or use a calculator, okay? So, if your results come back on Thursday and they're not what you expect, it's not the worst thing in the world. Because the exams test a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily need to know. They test a lot of recall, they test a lot of memorising stuff that you just forget straight away because you don't need to know it. Um, and it's not a great system, but it's a system that we have to work within, so we have to do our best within that system. Um, and there's this quote, which it wasn't by Einstein, okay? I don't know who it's from, but it wasn't by Einstein. Um, that, you know, if you test a fish by its ability to climb a tree, you're going to find that fish a failure. Whereas if you test an efficient ability to swim, it's pretty good. Each of you are different. You are all different people. You are all good, valuable, worthwhile people. The, the letters, the numbers that you get on Thursday do not determine how good of a person you are. They don't. So if your results aren't quite what you expect, that's okay. It is. I know it doesn't necessarily feel like it at the moment, but it's okay. And don't look at what your friends got and say, oh, they got you like eight stars or eights and nines and I didn't. And think that you're a failure because you're not. You're really, really not. It's just this system which we force you into, which we're forcing to test you in, isn't necessarily one which everyone can shine in. And you do have so many fantastic things about you. It's just that maybe they can't be written down on a bit of paper. And that's a fault of the education system, and I'm sorry. I'm doing my very, very best here. But just because the letters and the numbers on Thursday don't represent what a fantastic person you are, doesn't mean you're not a fantastic person. You have so, so many qualities that make you amazing. Just, we're not showcasing them very well at the moment. So, don't be upset on Thursday if you don't get the grades or the letters or the numbers that you want, that you were looking for. It doesn't make you a failure, it doesn't make you a bad person, it doesn't mean your life is over. It just means that the current education system doesn't let you shine the way that it should do. Now, I don't know how to fix this, but I can't fix this. So, fingers crossed on Thursday, everyone will be happy, everyone will be smiley, everyone will be amazing. Um, but I know some of you are going to be a bit disappointed, um, but it's not your fault, okay? It's the fault of the education system, the fact that sometimes we try and force square pegs into round holes and it's just not going to work. So if you are disappointed, please don't be too disappointed, please don't think it's the end of the world, it's not. Um, if you have any questions about anything, um, I'm going to do my very, very best to answer everything at 2 o'clock on Thursday. Um, good luck guys.